Hello guys, welcome back. This is Speed Dog Grand Built in the Mirror Smiles F86. And, um, you guys are probably wondering what's going on with that. Well, Sherlock in Chicago bought this, uh, or in Illinois anyway, he, uh, bought the jet yesterday. Um, we're going to finish it. And we're going to do it and it's just, you know, it's like I said in my last video that the jet was for sale and the reason being for it was is because we have no field to fly anything this big. Um, it's not that we don't have flying fields and all this stuff like that, but we're not allowed to fly jets in the summertime around here. Um, it's not allowed because of the fire season. We have really, really, really bad fires around here that have been just absolutely horrible and um even if we go our only time that we can fly our cutoff march 1st is our cutoff time to be able to fly jets and even it doesn't matter where it is uh, it's just that's the club rules it's the way things been brought up and the way they've been done and um anyway um I don't build hangar queens, and even though this jet is beautiful, and I've spent close to three years building it, it's um, time to say goodbye. I mean, the guy that bought this is going to fly the crap out of this thing, and um, I'm excited for him to get it. I've seen some of the planes that he's got. I've seen how he's actually, uh, I've seen how he's working this, and... I'm impressed. So, the guy that bought this is, well, they call him Sherlock, and uh, he's actually been on YouTube quite a bit and doing quite a few other things, and it's been really, actually, really good talking with him and all that. We talked for hours about the jet, and um, thank God I did this video series. Uh, anything that could ever be talked to on any of this airplane is on the series and there's no doubting it there, there's no arguing that it's probably one of the best built jets around and I'm very proud of this jet this was uh, going to be a top gun entry and it still can be um, it's not in masters category and we're not going to go to a lot of that because He'll do it in his own way, but um, I think one of the biggest deals is, is that I'm sure this is a let down to Mears, and Mears, if you're watching, I, I'm not really going to apologize for it. I'm just going to say, look, buddy, life happens, and, you know, I live in a really fucked up area of this country, and um, I can just tell you until, you know... These environmentalists for number one, until they go out there, they're worried about getting a little bit of gas on the ground, you know, and you know why that is? It's because some dumbass kids went out to the skateboard park out there and decided to go and thought it would be real cute with one of their nitro cars, cars, and go up there and uh, put a trail of... Um, nitro fuel on the ground light it and let it chase the car around we're not allowed to fly any of these gas turbine jets anywhere near the parks or anything there's no parks they're taking things away from us we're not allowed to run rc cars in parks here anymore we're not allowed to do a lot of things anymore um Unless we get into a private sector, there's no place for us to fly. And not jets. Propeller planes and helicopters, absolutely. They don't need the runways that we do. There's no runways that are long enough to fly these airplanes without doing significant damage to them. And um, even though I built this one to fly on grass runways and beefed it up uh, significantly because I know we don't have enough long runways. We do have runways in Washington State, and that's not an arguable fact. What is argued is, that is not argued about it, is the fact is, is that 
they're 150 miles away. I'm not driving 300 miles to go fly a freaking airplane. And not to go freeze my ass off in the winter. They get a lot of snow, so 90% of the time in our, during our flying season that we can actually fly these anyway, the runway's under three or four feet of snow. So we got kind of screwed either way. And I'm not willing to hang on to an airplane that I'm going to have to go and drive 2,500 miles to go to an event just to show it and fly it. That don't make any sense to me. It ruins it for me. And so I sold the airplane. And I sold it to a person that actually has a field they can fly in. Actually, pretty impressive individual. And the one thing is, and it's just like I said, those of you that you guys, I don't think Len's ever been on the show, but the one thing is I just want to, you know, there's just not, there's been a lot of people that have been involved. And I want to thank everybody absolutely 100% for all of their support in this because there's been four countries that have been involved in in this build alone it's brought a lot of us together and there's been a lot of good friendships made and i kind of feel like in a lot of ways i've let mirrors down in a lot but then in the same time i mean it's even more of a let down for me to go and put ten thousand dollars into an airplane i'll never be able to fly and that's just you know I'm just selling it literally, I've sold it for literally half of what I've got into it and it's still not done. And so, there's no point in do, to doing it. So at this point, this became a customer's build and I no longer own it. I mean, it's done, deposits made, whatever, and there's nothing. And the one thing is I did offer it and Bob Moore did talk to me about purchasing the airplane and it's just something he's not able to do right now and I need to be building something else. So I'm either going to do a C Fury or an FW190 and um, I have not decided which one yet. And so, anyway, um, this is all kind of one of these things that just really kind of, really is kind of sad, but it, it's getting a great, um, it's getting a good home. This guy's got jets that are as big, if not bigger, and um, he's got room for it. It's part of a new fleet, and... It's going to be a, it'll be a spectacle, and I'm curious to see what it looks like, because like I said, I will be delivering this one myself, and we'll be getting it over there. And so, there's a lot of things going on with it that I just, um, I have a lot of mixed feelings about what it is, and this and that, and... It's just time to move forward. I mean... The closure of the field had absolutely nothing to do before anybody, I have already seen comments on the thing is, and I just want to say, it's not jumping shit for the people that do this. They, they don't give two shits about the FAA or the AMA. They know that they were getting a small portion of their land, and we were actually farming that land for them with Timothy Hay to keep it going and actually seeing what they call a farmer's lease up here and we've done it for the last 20 years and when Al passed away I mean it was up to the grandkids and the sons and the daughters and all that to decide on what the outcome was whether they wanted to remain farming it which they don't or they wanted to sell it. Well, they got an offer for $6 million from one of the bigger builders around here to put a business park in there. And that's what exactly what they're gonna do. They've already purchased it. The earnest money went on the deal. We were served with a legal notice two years ago letting them know that they were going to do this. We were given time, but our uh, 
governor said no, the EPA said no, and uh, we couldn't find land that was within 10 miles away from any airport or any area around here that we could actually build a new runway. And the only place that we could do was actually a landfill in between um, Everett and Marysville, Washington. And with the advent of the new uh, deal, and thanks to, you know, politicking and the people going, we don't want to hear that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. You know, landfills that aren't being used for anything are just sitting there. We were opted to give us 80 acres, which we could have got, which we could have put a runway on. We got shut down on that almost immediately. As a matter of fact, they didn't even hear us completely out. And even with this, and even Governor Inslee, that cocksucker, he didn't even freaking read the letters. He had an automated response on it. Fuck you, Jay Inslee. And the one thing is, is that, you know, when we tried to talk to him, he wasn't in the state and this and that, and that could have been an intervention on that. So basically our only flying option is in Wenatchee, Washington from Seattle. And, you know, these fucking Democrats ain't worried about nothing but themselves. Okay, you know, it's bad enough they screwed around for three years with the Trump thing and Mr. Inslee going out and going and getting an asterisk by his name for popular vote for president of the United States. I thought that was really brilliant, especially coming from a mayor that was fired from Eastern Washington, wound up being our governor. I just, and doesn't, doesn't even read his emails or respond to anything. Yeah, that's real good. You work for us, you motherfucker. It's not the other way around. And I'm a little pissed about that. So, you know, we didn't get anything. None of our representatives in this state ever listened to us and all that. So basically, there's a lot of us around here that are doing exactly this. We're putting our planes for sale, and we're going to go to propeller driven, and hopefully we can find a slot in a private club that's big enough to be able to go out and find a place to fly. Because we're not allowed to do them in parks. No RC vehicles of any kind. No helicopters, no drones, no freaking RC cars, no boats, no nothing. No tanks, no nothing. Because it scares the dogs and it's pollution, and the fuel kills the grass, and lipo batteries are dangerous. Hmm, that's a new one. So our park systems do not allow any type of any kind of deal. So instead of giving us an area to fly, we're just um, stuck with um, the private sector with people with the extremely deep pockets that can go out and actually buy five or six acres and do whatever they want. And if you got a membership that you can get into it, they can only have so much of a deal because it's a, it's a not, not for profit organization. And then, you know, they only have a certain amount available. So there's no place to fly. We've lost them. So I'm still going to build because I have every intention of moving out of this state. Yeah, we're leaving. I mean, this is dumb. I mean, Boise, Idaho has BARCS. Boise Area Radio Control Society. And they're out in the middle of nowhere in the desert and they were given, good God, they got a beautiful area up there and the state give, gave it to them to use. With the, you know, and with the Understanding if they ever needed that land, which it probably never will. Nobody will ever build anything out there. There ain't no way to do it. But, you know, we don't have extra land, and you can't fly these off a mountainside around here, and we're just surrounded by it. So the flatland is all farmland and everything else. So, you know, I think one of the biggest things is it's just kind of moving on. I mean, and I'm not moving because... We're not moving because of the deal. It's just it's too expensive to live here. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. We're done. 
and we just want to leave. And so that's what me and Lynn are doing. And we're going to kind of take the time that it takes to go and look at this. We're going to look at some areas. I will not live in the Midwest. Not happening. If we go anywhere, it's either we're either going to go back to Chula Vista or we're going to go to... Um, whether we have, we'll probably go back to Southern California or we will go to Florida. And that is our plan. And at least there I have some areas to get away from this overtaxed piece of shit state of Washington. Do yourselves a favor. If you come here to visit, don't even think about wanting to move here. This is the biggest pile of shit that's turned into just garbage here. And, you know, this is just one of the reasons. I mean, you're taking... Things were good when we had things that we like to do, but, you know, it's just it's kind of dumb. So, anyway, I'm still building. I'm still involved, but, you know, we just... I'm going to start building another airplane eventually. It's just going to be a while, but let me get this one finished up first. This is my priority. Um, a couple of you guys have canceled cockpits and have, I have canceled a request for cockpits at this point. I don't have time to do any. I only do five of those a year anyway, and I've already done four. I just don't have time. I need to get this airplane done. So, I'm going to shut her down for now. Congratulations, uh, Sherlock, on your purchase. Uh, we'll get this airplane done, and it'll be world class when it is done. And we'll uh, be seeing you guys in the funny papers. Anyway. Bam.